Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. As you might notice here, I'm sharing some clips of the ski trip we recently went on as a family. I thought this would be a fun way to share a Thoughtful Thursday video with you today. So I do have some thoughts to share with you while I share this footage. So for today's Thoughtful Thursday video, I wanted to talk about part of my life ethos with regard to intentional living. Part of choosing to live intentionally for me is valuing experiences over things. And I thought it was really appropriate to share these thoughts with you while I also share a ski vlog. Some people may say that when you spend money on an experience, it is over after that experience is over, whereas with things, you will have it for as long as you would like. But I would argue that experiences actually last you a lifetime. You will always have the memories that you make. And I think now more than ever, it's important to be intentional about spending time with family and friends or even by yourself just just off of screens. I think I have mentioned on my channel before that the mountains are for sure my happy place. I love skiing for lots of reasons, but one being the peace that I feel on top of the mountain. And as I ski down, there is nothing like the sound of silence in the mountains. It is just stunning. The mountains are a place that also moves me emotionally and spiritually. There were several times where I just started crying because of my awe of the beauty and ma majesty of the mountains. That feeling really can't be replicated. So in case you're new around here or just didn't know it, I am turning 50 years old this year and I was joking with some friends that some people celebrate their birthday week or even their birthday month, but Joy, she is going to be celebrating her birthday year. I do plan to do lots of traveling in 2024 as I'm focusing on this principle of experiences over stuff. Okay, I also wanted to share a little story about some of the things that went wrong on our trip. This seems to be a theme for our ski trips. I shared a ski vlog a couple of years ago, which I can link below in the description box, and you can listen to the stories I told from the adventures of that ski trip, but I wanted to throw in here this idea that it's okay when things go wrong or we have to endure hardships when we prioritize experiences. I'm learning that that just kind of goes along with the territory and even those hard experiences can teach us lessons. So we drove straight through from Austin to Taos, New Mexico, and it was about a 13 hour drive. So we got there not too, too late, but it was close to 9 p.m. And when we drove into the resort, it was snowing. And our condo happened to be on the top of a hill, uh, which you had to take a small road to get up there, which had not been plowed. And we do not have four wheel drive. You can probably tell where this story is going by now. We tried getting up that hill from two different entr entrances and we tried helping push the vehicle up the hill while my husband was hitting the gas, but to no avail. So we decided we would park in the parking lot of the resort and walk our stuff up the 400 yards or so up that hill to the condo. I have never experienced altitude sickness, but I think between working hard carrying bags up a hill immediately upon entering the mountains and also not really getting enough to eat or hydration for the day since we were driving all day long, made me more susceptible to getting sick. That night, in the middle of the night, I got a text from my son saying he felt sick too. I was wide awake at that point, not feeling well myself, but also worried about him. And so I tried to get up to go to the bathroom, but I took two steps and I passed out. I called for my husband to help me and I was trying to stand up again, but 
passed out again, woke up to him standing over me asking me if I was okay. And I was like, no, I'm not okay. I can't stay conscious here. So I'm laughing about it now because, you know, it's it's in the past and it really is funny when I'm thinking back on it. But he helped me get back into bed and he gave me electrolytes and a trash can because I was feeling nauseous. And sorry for this TMI, but I did end up throwing up. But after that, I definitely felt better. I thought for sure I wasn't going to be able to ski the next day, but surprisingly, I was able to rally. Unfortunately, my son felt sick for most of the trip and was only able to ski one half day of the three days we went skiing. Also, the morning we were supposed to leave, it was predicted to accumulate close to 11 inches of snow, so we tried to get out as quickly as possible. It was definitely precarious. There was this one hill that we had to go up to get out of the resort. And then obviously the rest of the way was just downhill. We did make it out of the resort and down the mountain and home safely. One last thing I wanted to share is that I find that I basically turn into a five-year-old child who is enamored with whimsy when I'm in the snow. <laughs> Maybe this is a result of living in a climate where I rarely get to see snow, but nevertheless, it does remind me of the importance of finding joy in the little things in life. Look for moments or opportunities to experience whimsy. Sometimes we need to just stop taking ourselves so seriously. I did post a short the other day where I shared making a snow angel. Uh, if you wait until the very end of this video, you'll see kind of a longer version of that little uh, YouTube short that I made. But I just love doing things like that uh, when I have the opportunity to just, like I said, be childlike and enjoy life. Well, friends, I know this was a little bit different for what I usually share on Thoughtful Thursday, but nevertheless, I do hope you enjoyed this ski vlog and it just encouraged you to go out and do something fun, do something off screens, do something in your real life. I hope you enjoyed the thoughts that I shared in the voiceover today. As always, I really enjoy hearing your thoughts on my thoughts, so please let me know down in the comments. Comments. Thanks so much for watching my video today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!